So good day everyone. Welcome again to another episode of Usapang Hanap Buhay. And today I will discuss to you what is the basis for the computation of the termination pay. No? Pag uh, na-terminate ka na, so ano ba ang basihan o magkano yung matatanggap mo kasi terminate ka na ng employer. No? Okay, so the basis for the computation of the termination pay shall be based on the, his latest salary rate. No? Unless the same was reduced by the employer to de defeat the intention of the labor code. No? So in which case, the basis of computation shall be the rate before its deduction. So ano yung basis niya? The latest salary rate. No? So yun po yung basis para computan siya ng uh, termination fee. And how much is that? Is the employment deemed terminated during the suspension of the operation of business or undertaking or the fulfillment by employee of a military or civic duty? So, halimbawa naman na suspend yung empleyado, no? So, terminated ba siya during the suspension ng operation, no? The bona fide suspension of the operation of business or undertaking for a period not exceeding six months no? or the fulfillment by the employee of a military or civic duty shall not terminate the employee. So, hindi po ma-terminate ang employee no? sa suspension operation. In such cases, the employer reinstate the employee to his former position without loss of seniority rights if he indicates his desire to, to resume his work not later than one month from the resumption of operations with employer or from his relief from the military or civic duty. So, ang employee ay ibabalik sa dati niyang position without the loss of seniority rights kung indicate niya na mababalik siya sa trabaho not later than one month from the resumption of operation. So, the employee uh, nagpakita siya ng willingness to work again in the company. No? So, ano yun? i re po siya ng company at hindi siya tatagalin sa trabaho. No? So, what is the obligation of the employer to an employee who fulfills military or civic duty thus unable to work during the fulfillment of such duty? No? So, since hindi siya makatrabaho yung employer, sabi nga natin, uh, hindi naman natin siya pwedeng isuspend. So, anong gagawin or obligation ng employer? The employer-employer relationship shall be deemed suspended in case of suspension of operation of the business or undertaking of the employer for a period of not exceeding six months. No? So, not exceeding six months. Unless the suspension is for the purpose of defeating the rights of the employees under the labor code and in case of a mandatory fulfillment by the employee of a military and civic duty. No? So, um, yun yung mga rights ng uh, employees. No? So, the payment of wages of the employee as well as the grant of other benefits and privileges while he is on military or civic duty shall be subject to special laws and decrees and to the applicable individual or collective bargaining agreement and voluntary employer practice or policy. No? So, yun yung magagovern ng payment of wages of the employee and also the grant of other benefits and privileges. Okay, so with that, I hope I have enlightened you on the uh, topic. And uh, please subscribe and like our channel. And we promise to bring you more updates on this Usapang Hanap Buhay, no? That will affect your way, no? Of uh, having an employment, paano kayo kumikita, no? So, kung ano yung mga batas na nakakasakop sa mga ginagawa natin sa ating hanap buhay. Okay?